severe cyclonic storm Hamon weakened into a cyclonic storm and starts crossing the coast. Chattogram and Cox's Bazaar Maritime Ports advised to keep hoisted danger signal number 7, while Paira and Mongra Ports to keep hoisted danger signal number 5. Government fully ready to face cyclone. Disaster Management and Relief Ministry asks for relocating vulnerable people of 10 districts to shelter centers immediately. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is on her way to Belgium to join the Global Gateway Forum. Durga Puja, the biggest religious festival of the Hindu community, concludes today with immersion of the deity. BNP fighting to destroy democracy, not to protect it, says Obadul Kadir. Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmood urges global investors to invest in most prospective field of investment of Bangladesh. Seven hundred and four Palestinians killed in last 24 hours as Israel continues to attack Gaza. And Bangladesh batting with a victory target of 383 runs against South Africa in ODI World Cup in Mumbai. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to News at 10 on BTV and BTV World. I am Rhea Zabin. You have just heard the headlines. Now news in details. The Kaze Fakidae said Dunitibar, the Goose Kai said Dunitibar, the Smuggling Kore said Dunitibar, the Black Marketing Kore said Dunitibar, the British Hold Kore said Dunitibar, the Kaze Kotopo Paro Korena, Tara Dunitibar, the Bibeke, Dutte Kas Kore, Tara Dunitibar, the British and Kaze Deske Biki Kore, Tara Dunitibar. We begin with the latest news on cyclonic storm Hamun. The severe cyclonic storm Hamun weakened further into a cyclonic storm over northeast bay and adjoining area and it has started crossing the coast. The cyclone Hamun was centered at 6 p.m. today about 160 kilometers southwest of Chattogram port, 120 kilometers southwest of Cox's Bazar port, 225 kilometers southeast of Mongla port and 135 kilometers southeast of Paira port. It is likely to move northeastwards and may complete the crossing in between Cox's Bazar's Chattogram coast near Kutubdia during next 8 to 10 hours. Maximum sustained wind speed within 54 km of the cyclone center is about 62 km per hour, rising to 88 km per hour in gusts or squalls. Sea will remain very rough near the cyclone. Maritime ports of Chattogram and Cox's Bazar have been advised to keep hoisted danger signal number 7. I repeat, danger signal number 7. Maritime ports of Paira and Mongla have been advised to keep hoisted danger signal number 5. I repeat, danger signal number 5. The coastal districts of Chattogram, Cox's Bazar, Feni, Noakhali, Lokipur and their offshore islands and chores will come under danger signal number 7. I repeat, danger signal number 7. Under the peripheral effect of the cyclone and steep pressure gradient, the low-lying areas of the coastal districts of Cox's Bazar, Chattogram, Noakhali, Lokipur, Feni, Borguna, Bhola, Potuakali, Borishal, Pirojpur, Chalokati, Bagirhat, Khulna, Shatkira and their offshore islands and chores are likely to be inundated by wind-driven surge of 3 to 5 feet high above normal astronomical tide. Under the influence of cyclone Khulna, Borishal, Chotogram and Silla divisions are likely to be experienced of heavy to very heavy rainfall. Due to very heavy rainfall, landslide may occur at places over the hilly regions of Cox's Bazar, Bandarban, Rangamati, Khagrachari and Chattogram. All fishing boats and trawlers over North Bay have been advised to remain in shelter till further notice. 
People at risk in 10 coastal districts were asked to move to safer places by 8 p.m. tonight to save themselves from Cyclone Hamun. State Minister for Disaster Management and Relief Dr. Mohammad Inamur Rahman directed field administrations and volunteers to bring the people to safer places. He came up with the directive at a briefing after an emergency meeting on Cyclone Hamun at the Ministry of Disaster Management and Relief at the Secretariat today. The state minister said the government has all our preparations to address the cyclone. As part of preparations, Taka 20 lakh and 50 metric tons of rice have been allocated for each district. The state minister said leave of all officials and employees of the Ministry of Disaster Management and Relief has been cancelled. <laughs> আমাদের মাঠ প্রশাসন এবং ভলান্টিয়াররা কাজ করছে সেখানে এবং সেখানে রান্না করা খাবার ও সুপে ও পানি শিশুদের খাবার এবং গোখাদ্য দেওয়ার জন্য আমরা ইতিমধ্যে অর্থ বরাদ্দ করেছি প্রত্যেক জেলায় আমরা 20 লক্ষ টাকা 50 মেট্রিক টন চাল বরাদ্দ দিয়েছি এবং 1 কোটি টাকা গোখাদ্যের জন্য এবং 1 কোটি টাকা শিশু খাদ্যের জন্য আমরা বরাদ্দ দিয়েছি Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is now on her way to Belgium to attend the Global Gateway Forum to be held in its capital, Brussels, on October 25 to 26. The Premier is expected to reach Brussels at 6.45 p.m. local time. Earlier, a commercial flight of Biman Bangladesh Airlines carrying the Prime Minister and her entourage departed Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport at 11.10 a.m. this morning. She is going to Brussels at the invitation of the European Commission EC President Ursula von der Leyen. During the visit, the Prime Minister will have a number of meetings with leaders of European countries on the sideline of the forum. On October 25, she will have a bilateral meeting with Executive Vice President of the EC and European Trade Commissioner Valdez Dombrovskis. The Bangladesh Premier will also hold a bilateral meeting with the EC President, Ursula von der Leyen. After this bilateral meeting, a loan support agreement of 350 million euros on the renewable energy sector will be signed between the Bangladesh Government's Economic Relations Department and European Investment Bank. During this visit, the Bangladesh government and EC will sign five different grants agreement of 70 million euros on social sectors of Bangladesh. On the same day, Sheikh Hasina will attend the Global Gateway Forum's opening plenary session and deliver her speech. On October 26, she will hold a bilateral meeting with her Belgium counterpart, Alexander de Croo. The Prime Minister will also have a bilateral meeting with Luxembourg Prime Minister Xavier Bettel. In the afternoon on the same day, Sheikh Hasina will attend a reception accorded to her by Bangladeshi expatriates living in Belgium. She is scheduled to return home on October 27. Durga Puja, the biggest festival of Hindu community, concluded today with the immersion of the idols of Goddess Durga in water bodies across the country amid festivity. Devotees from different puja mandups of the capital gathered at Polashi intersection with small processions. They thronged at wise cut of Burigonga River carrying idols while singing hymns to Durga with the sounds of musical instruments for immersion of the goddess, the final phase of the festival. With heavy hearts, devotees bid farewell to the mother deity and her children through the immersion of their idols wishing for Durga's return next year. Wishing prosperity to all devotees wish the dark forces to succumb to the divine through the immersion. President Mohammad Shahbuddin will return to the hotel tomorrow from the National University Hospital in Singapore after undergoing a cardiac bypass surgery. President's Press Secretary Mohammad Joinal Abedin said President Mohammad Shahbuddin's health condition has improved so far. He is now doing light exercise according to the doctor's advice. The surgery was successfully completed on October 18 at the National University Hospital in Singapore. Meanwhile, in a message sent to the President, the Saudi government and its people wished President Mohammad Shahbuddin a speedy and full recovery. 
Awami League General Secretary Obaidul Kadeh said BNP is struggling to destroy democracy, not to save it. He made the comment while addressing an extended meeting of Dhaka City's South Awami League at Bangabundhu Avenue in the capital this afternoon. BNP Gonotontroke Thongsokorajunno Lorai Otitetara Gonotontroke Thongsokorich. Prahasone Nilbaton Kurachi Bua Botal List Tori Kurachi Apputi Test Prahasone Nilbaton Kurachi Undoi February Shay Party Jara Gonaton Troke Golati Pimirich Tara Kon Gonaton Trejunro Lorai Kurche একথা বলে লজ্জাও করে না বলতে এতটুকু দ্বিধা করে না আমরা শান্তি সৃষ্টি করলে এই নগরীর কোথাও বিএনপি জানাতে পারত না আপনাদের ভুল আবারো ভুল ভুল পথে আছে Obadul Kadeh said there is no use of scaring Awami League who believes in peace. BNP will not be spared if it tries to create anarchy on October 28, he added. Din kan diye pitibir kuno deshe andolon. Amade desho din kan diye un sattore randolon hoi ni, no poye randolon hoi. দিন খন তারিখ দিয়ে যারা আন্দোলনের দাগ দে তাদের আন্দোলন বারে বারে খাদের মধ্যে এবং সেই দিকে হাঁটছে আমি একটা উত্তাল সমুদ্র দেখতে চাই বিক্ষুব্ধ বঙ্গোপসাগরের গর্জন দেখতে চাই অশান্তি করব না তবে কেউ যদি অশান্তি করতে আসে খবর আসে কারণ অনেক সহ্য করছে সহ্যের একটা সীমা রেখা আছে the meeting was also addressed by presidium members of Awami League Shah Jahan Khan, Mufazal Hussain Chaudhry Maya, Kamrul Islam and Dr. Mustafa Jalal Mohyuddin. Organizing Secretary Misa Azam, President of Dhaka City's South Awami League Abu Ahmed Manafi and General Secretary Human Kabir. Information and Broadcasting Minister and Awami League Joint General Secretary Dr. Hassan Mahmoud has said, global investors to invest in Bangladesh as it is the most investment-friendly and promising country. He made the call at a conference in Paris on Monday titled Bangladesh-France Trade and Investment Summit. For the last 15 years of time, under the leadership of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, Bangladesh has made a tremendous growth rate in all sectors. So now Bangladesh is a place to invest. Why? Because our per capita GDP is increasing fast. Now close to 50 million people are having 5,000 US dollar per capita income today. And within the next five years time, it will cross 70 million people. So when the GDP, per capita GDP is increases, then the buying capacity of the people also increases. And that's why Bangladesh has become a country for investment and hope. And look at the geographical position of Bangladesh. If we set up industry in Bangladesh, then Bangladesh is not only the, your, your market. Market could be India, market could be Myanmar, market could be Nepal, market to some extent could be China even. So Bangladesh is a place for investment today. Bangladesh Securities and Exchange Commission BSEC and Bangladesh Investment Development Authority BIDA jointly organized the conference. BSEC Chairman Professor Shibli Rubayatul Islam presented the keynote paper.
Prime Minister's Advisor on Private Industry and Investment, Salman Evrabon, Ambassador to UNESCO, Khandokar M. Talha, France Bangladesh Business Council President Pierre Jean Malgures, Bangladesh's Ambassador to France, as well as investors and stakeholders, took part in the conference. Now, international news. It has been two weeks since the Israel-Palestine conflict began on October 7, yet the Israeli assault on Gaza persists unabated. Health Ministry in Gaza said 704 Palestinians killed in Israeli air raids in last 24 hours. Almost 5,800 people have been killed in the territory since the outbreak of war with Israel. The death toll includes 2,360 children. A total of 16,297 people have also been wounded. Meanwhile, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, in a call with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin, has slammed the silence of Western nations, which he says is aggravating the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Turkey will hold a Great Palestine Rally on Saturday with Erdogan expected to attend. Meanwhile, the UN General Assembly will meet on Thursday to discuss the Israel-Palestine conflict. Three separate armed attacks in Mexico on Monday left at least 22 people dead, including a dozen police officers. In the largest of the attacks, unidentified attackers targeted a security patrol in Guerrero State's municipality of Coyuca de Benitez, killing 11 members of the municipal police force. The motive for the massacre was being investigated. Another attack in the neighboring western state of Michoacan left five people dead. Meanwhile, a third attack in the rural community of San Miguel Canoa, a gunfight between alleged drug dealers in the central Mexican state of Puebla, left at least six dead. Mexico is couched by cartel link crime that has seen more than 420,000 people murdered since the government initiated a so-called war on drugs in 2006. Now some other international news in brief. Iceland's Prime Minister and women across the volcanic island nation went on strike today to push for an end to unequal pay and gender-based violence. Will be especially affected. The planned walkout will mark the first full day women's strike since 1975. At least seven, At people, least were seven people were killed and 25 others injured after a super fog of smoke from the U.S. state of South Louisiana marsh fires and dense fog caused multiple massive car crashes involving 158 vehicles. The number of fatalities may increase as re rescue operation is going on. The International Energy Agency warned today that energy policies must evolve if global warming is to be limited to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, saying fossil fuel use is still far too high. As the about one third of the global oil exports come from that region, especially for uh, Asia. The world's oldest dog ever has died at the age of 31 years and 165 days. Guinness world record holder Roby, a purebred Raffiero do Alentijo, passed away at his home in Portugal. The Raffiero do Alentijo was declared the world's oldest dog in February this year. Now news on sports. Bangladesh are now batting with a victory target of 383 runs against South Africa in the ICC ODI World Cup in Mumbai. Bangladesh scored 200 runs for 8 wickets in 42 overs when reports last came in. Earlier, South Africa won the toss and elected to bat first. They scored 382 runs for 5 wickets in the stipulated 50 overs. Quinton de Kock scored 174 of 140 balls, Henrich Klassen 90 and Aidan McCracken scored 60. To end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Severe cyclonic storm Harmon weakened into a cyclonic storm and starts crossing the coast. Chotrogram and Cox's Bazaar Maritime Ports advised to keep hoisted danger signal number 7, while Paira and Mongla Ports to keep hoisted danger signal number 5. 
government fully ready to face cyclone disaster management and relief ministry asks for relocating vulnerable people of 10 districts to shelter centers immediately Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is on her way to Belgium to join the Global Gateway Forum. Durga Puja, the biggest religious festival of the Hindu community, concludes today with immersion of the deity. BNP fighting to destroy democracy, not to protect it, says Obadul Kadir. Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmood urges global investors to invest in most prospective field of investment of Bangladesh. Seven hundred four Palestinians killed in last 24 hours as Israel continues to attack Gaza. And Bangladesh batting with a victory target of 383 runs against South Africa in ODI World Cup in Mumbai. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for staying with us. We invite you to watch our 11.30 Bangla News. We also request you to keep your home set clean and stay safe from dengue. Khodafis.